8320, Mentor Chen. Thanks for watching. Hello flight mates, welcome to another short briefing of the A320 Mentor Channel. Let's talk about the unreliable airspeed at takeoff. Without further ado, let's dive into it. Unreliable airspeed at takeoff. Since the beginning of 2020, Airbus has received an increasing number of reports of unreliable airspeed events at takeoff due to PITO probe obstruction. Despite the existing prevention means and the pre-flight exterior walk-around, takeoffs with obstructed air data probes may happen. This briefing highlights why it is so important for pilots to actively monitor the airspeed during the entire takeoff roll, to detect an airspeed discrepancy as early as possible, and safely reject the takeoff if required to do so. Multiple unreliable airspeed events at takeoff. Preparing for a safe return to the skies is a safety first article published in June 2020 that already highlighted the increased risk of unreliable airspeed events after aircraft parking or storage. The number of reported occurrences since this article was published is still a reason for concern. Between January 2020 and March 2021, 55 events of unreliable airspeed indication during takeoff were reported to Airbus. Majority of events linked to PITO obstruction. 44 of the 55 reported cases of unreliable airspeed at takeoff were due to obstruction of the PITO tube. Obstructions can be caused by the presence of insects, sand, dirt, dust or any other foreign materials that could enter the PITO when protective covers are not fitted to the aircraft when on the ground. In one reported case, the obstruction was because the protective covers were not removed before the flight. PITO contamination occurring during various types of parking conditions. The chart below, figure 1, shows the duration of time an aircraft spent on the ground before the flight when the unreliable airspeed event occurred. Also beware during shorter ground stays. Contamination of PITO probes by insects does not happen only during long periods of parking or storage. Half of all reported PITO contamination related events occurs when the aircraft is parked for a time period of less than 48 hours. A significant number of reported occurrences of obstructed PITOs were on aircraft in transit and on the ground for less than two hours. PITO probes are not always protected by covers during short duration transits. Why PITOs are even more exposed to the risk of contamination during the pandemic? The pandemic had the effect of a significantly reduced number of flights, which means aircraft spend more time on the ground between flights. In cases where the air data probe protective covers are not fitted, the exposure to the risk of PITO contamination is greatly increased. Several cases of late detections. In 36 of the 55 reported cases, the flight crew detected the speed discrepancy and rejected the takeoff. For many of the reported rejected takeoffs, the speed discrepancy could have been detected earlier during the takeoff roll, which would have incited the flight crew to reject the takeoff at a lower speed. The following case studies of three events of unreliable airspeed at takeoff highlight the importance of speed monitoring during the takeoff roll. Case Study 1 Event Description Flag speed indications detected during the takeoff roll. An A330 aircraft was lined up for takeoff in night conditions. The first officer was the pilot flying, PF. The weather was clear with no wind. The recomputed takeoff decision speed was 150 knots and the rotation speed was 159 knots. During aircraft acceleration, the speed indications were flagged on both PFDs. A 100 knots callout and a rotation based on ground speed indication. The pilot monitoring PM, made the 100 knots callout when the ground speed reached 100 knots. The PF then initiated the rotation at 159 knots of ground speed. Unreliable airspeed indication procedure application. The flight crew applied the FCOM unreliable airspeed procedure when airborne and switched all three ADRs to off when the aircraft reached flight level 110, activating the backup speed scale, bus, indication, as requested by the procedure when all ADRs are affected below flight level 250. In flight tin back and overweight landing. The flight crew decided to return to the departure airport and performed an overweight landing. When the aircraft finally returned to the gate, it was noticed that the protective covers were not removed before the flight and they were still fitted on all three PITO probes. Event Analysis Analysis of the recorder data confirmed that the PITO covers, 
which were not removed before the flight, were the cause of the unreliable airspeed indication. 3 Missed Opportunities of Detecting the Covers Post-event analysis shows that the PITO protective covers were not seen by the maintenance engineer during the external aircraft inspection and neither by the captain during the pre-flight exterior walk-around nor by ground personnel during pushback, as recorded on the airport surveillance videos. Speed display during takeoff roll Recorder data also showed that the display of the SPD red flag on both PFDs from 50 knots of ground speed should have made the flight crew aware of the airspeed issue which would have enabled them to reject the takeoff. From 0 knots to 50 knots of ground speed, the indicated airspeed, IAS, was at the bottom of the speed scale on both PFDs and on the speed scale of the integrated standby instrument system, ISIS. This was because the measured airspeed from all three ADRs was below 30 knots. From 50 knots to approximately 140 knots of ground speed, the SPD red flag was displayed on the speed scale of both PFDs and the IAS on the ISIS was still at the bottom of the speed scale. From 140 knots of ground speed until rotation and liftoff, the IAS was between 30 knots and 50 knots on at least one of the PFDs. The IAS of the ISIS remained at the bottom of the speed scale. This sequence is in accordance with the display logic of the IAS on the PFD. If the measured airspeed is below 30 knots and ground speed is below 50 knots, then the IAS remains at the bottom of the speed scale. If the measured airspeed is below 30 knots and the ground speed is above 50 knots, the SPD red flag is displayed on the speed scale. When the measured airspeed is above 30 knots, it will be displayed on the PFD. Case Study 2 Event Description A speed discrepancy at the 100 knots callout. An A330 aircraft was ready for takeoff. The captain, who was the PF, applied takeoff power and the aircraft started to accelerate. The flight crew noticed a discrepancy between the PFD airspeeds at the 100 knots crosscheck. The flight crew continued the takeoff and performed the rotation at 133 knots. Ecom cautions and level off for troubleshooting. Shortly after liftoff, the NAV IAS discrepancy Ecom caution triggered, followed by the NAV ADR-1 fault. The flight crew leveled off the aircraft at 3,000 feet to perform Ecom actions and troubleshooting. The flight crew set the air data rotary selector to capped on 3 and resumed the climb to cruise flight level 340. Overspeed warning while approaching cruise flight level. An overspeed warning triggered while the aircraft was passing flight level 334. The autopilot remained engaged and the aircraft leveled off at flight level 340. The overspeed warning stopped a few seconds later. In flight turn back. The flight crew performed an in-flight turnback and landed safely. Maintenance personnel inspected the PTO on the captain's side and found that it was obstructed by dust. Event Analysis Flight data recorder analysis confirmed the effects caused by the obstruction of the captain's PTO probe. A missed opportunity to reject the takeoff. If the airspeed was monitored even more closely by the flight crew during the takeoff roll, they may have identified the speed discrepancy sooner, allowing them to reject the takeoff and bring the aircraft safely to a stop. Airspeed display during the takeoff roll. The IAS remained at the bottom of the PFD speed scale on both PFDs and on the ISIS at the start of the takeoff roll until the measured speed reached 30 knots, which is its normal behavior. The captain's IAS went above 30 knots when the first officer and ISIS IAS both indicated approximately 47 knots. When the first officer and ISIS IAS indicated approximately 80 knots, the captain's IAS was only displaying 41 knots. When the first officer and ISIS IAS indicated 100 knots, the captain's IAS was only displaying approximately 55 knots. The captain rotated the aircraft when 133 knots was indicated on the first officer's PFD and ISIS, but the captain's IAS was only displaying 80 knots. Case Study 3 Event Description Rolling Takeoff An A320 was cleared for takeoff and the PF, who was the captain, performed a rolling takeoff. The captain performed the 1.05 EPR stabilization step and then applied takeoff thrust. Rejected takeoff following an airspeed discrepancy at the 100 knots crosscheck. The aircraft accelerated nominally, but the captain identified a speed discrepancy when the PM did the 100 knots callout and immediately rejected the takeoff.
Maintenance personnel performed troubleshooting when the aircraft returned to the gate and they found small pieces of leaves in the captain's pitot probe and its pressure line. Event analysis. An early speed discrepancy on the captain's side. Recorder data showed that obstruction of the captain's pitot probe was providing an initial IAS of approximately 45 knots while the aircraft ground speed GS, was 0 knots prior to the aircraft lining up on the runway. At the application of takeoff thrust, the first officer and ISIS IAS indicated 35 knots with nominal acceleration shown by the speed trend arrow on the first officer's PFD. However, the IAS on the captain's PFD was 49 knots with a very small speed trend arrow. When 100 knots was reached on the first officer's PFD in ISIS, the captain's IAS was only 58 knots. When the aircraft safely came to a complete stop after the RTO, the captain's IAS was still at 55 knots. A useful 100 knots cross-check. During the entire takeoff roll, the captain's IAS increased slightly but remained below 64 knots. The 100 knots cross-check enabled the captain to identify the discrepancy and immediately reject the takeoff. A possible earlier RTO. The standard operating procedure requests monitoring of the PFD speed scale during the entire takeoff roll. Following this recommendation may have made the flight crew aware of the airspeed discrepancy earlier than the 100 knots callout and enabled them to reject the takeoff at lower speed. The first opportunity to detect the speed discrepancy was before lining up for takeoff, when the captain's airspeed indicated 45 knots while the aircraft was stationary with ground speed at zero knots. The second opportunity was at the application of takeoff thrust when the IAS on the captain's PFD was almost steady speed with a very small speed trend arrow. Monitoring of the airspeed during the takeoff roll. The three events described above illustrate the importance of closely monitoring the airspeed throughout the takeoff roll. Both the pilot flying PF, and the pilot monitoring PM, have a role to play. While the PF maintains the aircraft on the centerline using external references, the PM must actively monitor the airspeeds from the start of the takeoff roll. This will allow for the PM to detect any inconsistent airspeed indications between instruments and abnormal airspeed trend or absence of airspeed indications as early as possible. The role of the pilot monitoring during takeoff video on the Airbus Worldwide Instructors News Win, website illustrates each of the various steps for the PM to perform during the takeoff. The 100 knots crosscheck, the last line of defense. Case study 3 shows us the importance of the 100 knots crosscheck which is requested in the standard operating procedure. It is the last line of defense in preventing a takeoff with an unreliable airspeed indication. The flight crew should be prepared to reject the takeoff at the time of the 100 knots crosscheck if an airspeed discrepancy is observed. Monitoring that must be done for every takeoff. Takeoff with obstructed pitot probes can happen for any flight as highlighted by the reported events described in this article. It is evidence of why it is essential to carefully monitor airspeed during every takeoff. Obstructed pitots are the main cause of the reported unreliable airspeed events at takeoff. Contamination of aircraft pitot probes can happen in less than two hours on the ground in certain cases. The risk of pitot contamination has increased since the beginning of the pandemic because there are fewer flights and aircraft spend more time on the ground between flights. Airbus has published several documents to provide recommendations for the prevention of obstructed air data probes on the ground. During transits or upon the return to service of a parked aircraft, it is important to pay particular attention to the PITO probes during the maintenance external aircraft inspection and the pilot's pre-flight exterior walkaround. This will confirm that all protective covers are removed before flight. Early detection of an unreliable airspeed event will enable the flight crew to reject the takeoff at a lower speed. From the start of the takeoff roll, the pilot monitoring must check for inconsistent airspeed indications, abnormal airspeed trends, or the absence of airspeed indications, and alert the pilot flying as early as possible if an issue is detected. The 100 knots crosscheck is the last line of defense to prevent taking off with an unreliable airspeed indication. The flight crew should be prepared to reject the takeoff at the time of the 100 knots crosscheck if an airspeed discrepancy is observed. It is essential that flight crews carefully monitor the airspeed indications during every takeoff. Obstruction or contamination of the pitot can occur before any flight.
A320 Mentor Channel. Thanks for watching.